<clears throat> All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I got a vapey thing that I wanted to talk to you about today. This comes from Asmodus. This is the Pumper 21. It's a beautiful stabilized wood and acrylic squonk mod. It's sort of very ergonomic as well. I really like this shape and I really like the button placement. I'm not in love with this pumping system. In fact, it's my least favorite pumping squonking system that I've come across which is a real shame because it's in such a beautiful mod but in order to get to know this just a little bit better and in order to get to know this pumping system just a little bit better what we're going to do is go up close as we always do that's right quick short up be closey time go <laughs> all right yeehaw well this is the Asmodus Pumper 21. They make a Pumper 18 and a Pumper 21. The Pumper 18 is for 18650 batteries and the Pumper 21 is for 2700 and 21700 batteries. Battery comes out right here on the bottom. It's just a small little thumb screw that's opened towards the bottom and your 2700 battery can come out. This does accommodate both 2700 and 21700 batteries. The mod itself is kind of this really pretty stabilized wood and acrylic. There's a little LED indicator right here when you put your battery in it's going to flash green to let you know that your battery is in correctly so when you put your battery in yep just lights up green to let you know that everything's good and it'll light up green as well when you fire it button placement on this very much like that asmodus luna squonker kind of offset off to the side it makes it very comfortable to hold i generally hold it like this and hit it with my thumb it's a real comfortable button kind of got this polished brass along the top polished brass along the bottom it matches the button and it matches the little pump right here that i'm not in love with if there's a weak point to this and there is it's this pump. I don't love this pumping system, but we'll get there in a second. Let me pop off this atomizer. There's a spring-loaded 510 connection on top, a very juicy spring-loaded 510 connection on top there. But see, this is what vape mats are for. I do this every time. I just flip it upside down and I give it a little on my vape mat and now it's clean. And then the way that this bottle comes out of here, the way that this whole pump assembly comes out of here is a little bit weird. There's sort of a, a spring-loaded thumb screw on the bottom, right? And then there's these little notches. So you press it in and you twist it and then you kind of push down on the pump and the whole thing comes out the bottom like that. And then this is your pumping assembly. So if I push this down right now, if I pumped this, juice would pump out of the top. And on the bottom, that's the little spring-loaded assembly right there that's going to keep it snug inside the mod. And then to fill it is a messy sort of process. This one is already all full, but you're going to pull this assembly out of here. And I realize I'm saying assembly a lot because I don't know what else to call this. There's a little pump assembly right here that's kind of held in by O-rings and that comes straight out. And then you can take your juice. This is already full, but you blow it. You kind of blow it just to, I don't know, around that area. There's no mark on here. There's no maximum fill line on here, which there really does need to be because you can fill this up to the top, but you still need to make sure that there's enough room on the inside to take up for, you know, this, this pump assembly. Assembly, assembly assembly and like I said this is just held in by o-rings so you kind of have to push it down and then push down on this base part right here don't use the the actual pumper because you're just gonna make a huge mess I kind of grab two fingers and I, I push it down like that and it never really goes down straight man kinda it's always messy and a lot of it too is because of that straw the straw in here they made excessively long like too excessively long so that when you're trying to push this down it's bending the straw at the bottom and kind of ejecting it back out and you're probably not gonna be able to see this but there's a little notch cut out in the bottom of the straw right there so that it can get most every little last drop of juice from inside this tank inside this squonk bottle squonk bottle tank i don't know what the terminology is here sure it's a squonk bottle tank so like i said this needs to go down and you need to press it down without pressing the pump action right here because oh man it just it makes a mess it makes a mess everywhere i've honestly never been able to fill this up completely and have it all go back down normal and good without leaking in some way and you can see right there when i pump it like this the assembly doesn't it, it's it's spring loaded spring loaded because of that straw on the bottom and yes i realize it's very easy you could just 
cut that straw a little bit shorter, but I'm showing you this because stock, this is how it comes with Asmodis. So you might be, it might be something you kind of have to deal with or modify the straw in order to get it to work correctly. And I'm just not a big believer in having to modify things right out of the box in order to get them to work correctly. And so we are, we're gonna trim down that straw just a little bit, make this process a whole lot easier. So I literally took off just the tiniest little sliver off of the bottom. I don't wanna take too much off of this straw but if I can set this down in here now and it'll stay eh, maybe a little bit better it's still bending on that straw down there fuck it I don't care let's put this back together Ugh. okay so we're just gonna put this in here it's real easy that kind of flips up and when you put it in it'll it'll kind of the switch will kind of flip back down you refine the tabs you use a little spring-loaded action and you give it a twist and now it's in there and you are good to pump and finally the last thing that bums me out about this pump system while we're up close and personal is when you pump it it pumps a you know a predetermined determined amount of liquid into your atomizer and doesn't have any sort of return system. So whatever you pump into your atomizer, you have to vape through. On a normal squonker, when you squonk the bottle, it's going to flood the chamber with juice. And then when you let go of the bottle, it's going to suck a lot of that juice back down into the bottle so you're not just sitting with a swampy slurpy deck in there this does not do that you pump it it puts the juice in your atomizer with no return system you do have the ability to severely flood your atomizer especially if maybe the coils and wick up here are already all nice and wet and you think oh maybe it's dry maybe i'll give it one extra pump you're just gonna pump juice into there with nowhere for it to go and yeah it's it's easy to flood. I've flooded multiple times using this little pump system. Again, just because there's no juice return system in it. <laughs> anyway, enough repeating myself. This is all set up, ready to go. What we're going to do is get back out to normal view. We're going to vape this thing. Beautiful. And the button placement on this mod is in such a great place. I remember first seeing this on that Asmodus Luna and I thought, wow, that's weird. That's a really weird button placement. But after you use it and after you hold it for a while and you hit that button on the side with like either your finger like this or I end up kind of holding it like this and hitting it with my thumb. It's just overall really very comfortable to hold and use. The wood and acrylic are nice. The brass along the top, this polished brass along the top and bottom, I think look very cool. It kind of looks real classy. It's got a little, it's got a little bit of a classy look to it. I'm not in love with the little thumb screw for the battery. It's a little bit weird and small and uncomfortable. And I'm not in love with this pumper. I'm just I just don't like it. I just don't like the way they did it. I don't like the design. I like the idea of having some sort of like pumping action so you're not necessarily like squeezing a plastic bottle. I kind of see where this could be going, but I don't think the miniature pump technology is quite there yet for this type of application. Not only does the pump assembly float a little bit because of that straw, and yes, I realize, like I said, you can cut the straw. I trimmed a little bit off my straw. Maybe I'll do a little bit more trimming to take care of that. I'm just telling you right out of the box, that's how it's going to be. It also has a spring-loaded base on the bottom so you can get it in and out of the mod spring-loaded here on the bottom which is helpful for getting it in you know and out of the mod but not so helpful when you're pumping because when you press down on this you can feel that spring in the bottom retracting your pre your, you know you're pushing pushing whoa <laughs> you're pushing pressure against that spring and it just makes it feel Weird. Every single time I pump this, I feel like I'm not getting any juice. I feel like it's not like a satisfactory pump. You know when you squeeze a Windex bottle, like you squeeze the little trigger and it just goes and you feel it from beginning to end. You go, yeah, spraying. With this, it's just... It's just weird. Sometimes you pump it and not a lot of juice comes out. It's very inconsistent. Sometimes you pump it and a lot of juice comes out. And the switch itself has this little bit of play in the top, just kind of up and down. When you feel it, it doesn't feel smooth. It doesn't feel even. You kind of go bleh. And you go, okay, I hope that got some juice. It didn't feel very satisfying. I didn't 
feel like I was pumping juice into my atomizer, but looking at my coils, I definitely, definitely was. And this is just me getting real nitpicky about the way this pump feels. I don't want to use the word cheap because it doesn't necessarily feel cheap. I just feel like this pump technology uh, is not quite there yet, and maybe in a few other versions, it'll get better along the road. It's not my favorite. At this point, I'd kind of rather have just a bottle that I could squonk, like if this was just an opening with a traditional squonk bottle, I, I would have liked it a whole lot more. They also did a similar pump system to this in that Spruza, but I think the Spruza actually did it a lot better. That pump felt better to pump, and it was easier to pump. There's no way that this is going to be a one-handed operation no matter how you hold it because this pump has a lot of resistance. So sometimes when I hold it like this and I hit it with my thumb right here, I try to grab my, my finger right here and try to give it a pump and it's just at a weird, super weird, awkward angle. So inevitably I have to kind of go, okay, switch hands and push it like this or switch hands and push it with your other hand. It would have been much more simple, I think, and maybe would have lowered the price on this a little bit to just have a very traditional silicone bottle in here that would have appealed to me so much more because then it truly would have been a one-handed operation. You could hit the button with your thumb right here and you could squonk your bottle right here and it would have just been uh, much more intuitive to use. I get it that Asmodis is trying to bring something new to the table, table trying to be some, you know, trying to do something maybe a little bit different and I just don't think they knocked it out of the park with this pump system. But it's still a damn comfortable mod to hold 2700 21700. It's unregulated. It's got a whole mess of safety features built into it as well. The LED lights up when you're pressing it. The LED will light up red if it detects a short. It has a 10 second cutoff, so you can't press the button longer than 10 seconds or it'll cut off. And the mod will also cut itself off if the temperature reaches above 85 degrees. So are you going to need your vape budget hands for something like this? Well, clicking over to the Asmodis website, yeah, it's a little bit pricey. They have it listed for about $140, which, yeah, I mean, that's that's definitely vape budget hands territory. And unfortunately, it's got a high asking price. And also, unfortunately, it's a little hard to recommend this squonker just because of this slightly wonky pump system in it. Like I've already said a thousand times, I would have loved just a traditional silicone squonk bottle in this. Maybe a little nice little ovally cut out for it would have been great. It's still a nice vape. It's still comfortable to hold. It's still beautiful to look at. And it's still, even with that cruddy pump system in there, it's still a very nice, beautiful, I mean, stabilized wood and acrylic, polished brass. It, it, it looks nice. It's comfortable in the hand. It's a pretty, pretty mod. And then if we're going to play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, is the Asmodis Pumper 21 something I would seek out and buy? Bah, probably not. I think Asmodis has much better squonkers in their lineup than this. And I would honestly love to see a non-pumper version of this mod just because I like the form factor of it so much. I like the button placement of it so much. So I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to throw some links down in the description to where you can check out the Asmodis Pumper 21 and Pumper 18 if you are interested. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, let's keep on vaping. <laughs>